What's going on guys? So we are out here in Hershey, Pennsylvania at the Hershey RV Show. This is the largest RV show in North America and we are filming extraordinary RVs. I mean stuff that a lot of people would really like to see. In front of me you are taking a look at the new 2024 Tiffin Phaeton 40 IH. This is a beautiful beautiful motorhome. This is a really special package because it's their midnight package blacked out wheels, blacked out a lot of other stuff, really cool dark graphics. Am I missing anything, All right? Yes. So, very modern, sleek Tiffin RV. Absolutely. It's not the uh, Tiffin of the past, but very proactive, very very modern. Well, not even the motorhome you typically see from any brand. I mean, this is just super cool the way they've done this. But we're going to take a closer look at this thing. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a Tiffin Phaeton. This is a 2024 40IH. This rides on a Powerglide XHS raised rail rear diesel. So whenever you're looking at premium diesel pushers, that's what you wanna see, raised rail, because it's gonna give you a lot of really, really great storage underneath it and other reasons that, that you definitely would wanna upgrade or move to something like this if you're looking for a premium diesel pusher. Has a Cummins L9, 450 horsepower diesel engine, 1,250 pound-feet of torque, Allison 3000 MH uh, six-speed automatic transmission with lockup torque converter 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter uh, own and quiet diesel 10,000 watt generator 10,000 pound hitch rating hydronic heating and electronic appliance coach option a hydraulic leveling spider control 1.7 cubic foot smart convection microwave with air fryer stainless steel residential fridge and uh, red bay cabinetry red bay cabinetry Okay, so Red Bay, Alabama, that's where all of Tiffin cabinetry is produced and it's probably the best cabinetry you can get in an RV, period. And if you guys saw the videos I did on a Van Lee Beacon fifth wheel a while back, you definitely know the level of perfection that goes into their woodworking. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop inside of this thing, take a look at it, and uh, I'll hop back out and I think magically all of these storage doors are gonna be open, but we'll see. All right. So you go up these electronic deploying steps. You can see the real tile, real, hard stone steps as you step inside and come around here and you're gonna see some pretty crazy large screens for your cameras and other information going on with the RV itself plus super super large comfortable chairs as we back up you're gonna see the Euro loft up here which drops down to give you some sleeping accommodations above the cab area very very nice a lot of visibility through this front window, and you can actually pull down all of these day-night roller shades if you want to cover everything up at night. And I believe they actually go down with a, a button. All right, I'm gonna pan through this thing so you can see what it's all about. Check it out. This is super cool. And before I get any further, do the shades, are they power shades or are they manual shades in this? Uh, let's look. He's gonna check the little screen there and he will tell me if they're power or manual shades. All right, so you have your Really, really nice theater seating right here. All residential furniture. You have your real uh, real tile floor. You have a bed system right here, so this turns into a beautiful bed area. Televator. Love the sconces and the lighting. Absolutely gorgeous. And then if you look back here, just look at the ceiling, how they've done this. Beautiful, beautiful ceiling. Really nice large cabinetry. You can definitely store a lot of stuff in here. And it sits kind of low, so you have really good access to it. You're going to have a drawer system that pulls out right here, or a countertop. So check this out. Then you have extra drawers inside of here as well for all your silverware and other things. Of course, soft closing drawers. Right here is your dishwasher. They're manual shades. They're manual shades. Thank you so much. Day and night. Day and night manual shades. You have more storage down there. You're going to have your convection or sorry induction cooktop up here you have your split stainless steel basin sink very nice under here more cabinetry more storage Ooh, and somebody left the msrp sticker on here so i'm going to show it so this has a base price of four hundred and fifty seven thousand seven hundred and ninety three dollars suggested retail five hundred nineteen thousand four hundred and thirty one dollars so there are optional features on here as well is the dishwasher standard or is it optional? Do you know? Don't know. Don't know? Okay. They come with almost all of Okay. But I would have to check that. All right. Step this way. So it looks like we have a half bath, maybe. We do. We have a half bath here, undermount sink, 
has a porcelain foot flush toilet with bidet or sprayer, whatever you want to call it, bowl cleaner. You got more cabinets in there. Nice stone backsplash around here also. Nice solid doors too. Beautiful. And he is demonstrating the spider control panel here to turn everything on. This basically is the master control for everything in the RV. And it, it is far uh, superior to the ones that came out five or six years ago. You have your LG, really nice French door refrigerator here. And then this is gonna be cool. This is a pantry area. You basically push them and then they slide out. So you have a place to really put a lot of things. You can fit a lot of stuff in these. Ah, oh, feel the fan. Oh, the fan is on. We get moving air today. Yeah, look at that. And it actually moves air. Yeah, that feels good. A lot of times it just feels decorative. We don't have the units cranked yet, so here this is. Yeah. Nice. Now if you're 610, good you probably out. want to be a little careful because yeah. you'll get a haircut with that thing. Yeah. That's but good. it's actually moving some air. That yeah, feels nice. It does feel good. That's crazy. So you have the sliding door here, king size bed, got a lot of good space on each side of the bed, plus some cabinets as well. Nice headboard. Cool. I believe we have two ACs on here, maybe three. There's probably two. He's about to check. Three. We have three ACs on here. Yep. And then you have some of your electronics in here. You have your TV, which is an LG TV. A lot of wardrobe space. This area is loaded with wardrobe space. Even these tiny little cute cabinets. Love that, uh, the wallboard that you use in here. Okay, let's check out the bathroom. Dual vanity, real stone backsplash. Lots of storage in here. Check this out. This is a huge bathroom. Here's the access for your engine. And then you have your shower. Really, really good size shower. Probably be six foot three in that range to comfortably fit in there. Has a shower miser as well. So you can basically uh, circulate the hot water in, in its own system until it heats up and then you turn it on so you don't waste a lot of water. You have a macerating toilet in here as well. And then access to maintain it. Very cool. And then you're going to have these enormous doors here, which I'm sure lock and slide. slide over. All right. When everything's new, everything's a little bit stiff. You got your lock back here. You're safe. Did you notice the lights came on? Yeah. Beautiful yes. LED lights. Very nice. Good size closet. And I mean, when you couple this with the space that you have out there, you got tons of wardrobe. And you have your Splendid washer and dryer, stackable unit, already in place. Very cool. What do you guys think of this thing? This thing is really nice. And that blackout or midnight package, along with the more modern interior tones, really makes this thing stand out. But I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Let's hop outside, quickly go around the outside, and we'll wrap the video up. Okay, so they just informed me that we're way too close to the unit on the other side that we won't be able to go over there. But you'll be able to see most of it on this side. We have all the hatches open, magically. You have your hydraulics, you have some power, you have two slide-out trays. This is really the magic behind that raised rail. Everything sits below the top raised rail, and it gives you so much more storage. This is like the equivalent of a drop frame on a fifth wheel, basically. But it's kind of the reverse of that. The panels that are being used for other things are nice and finished off. Huge, huge tires. Beautiful wheels, all blacked out. Gorgeous. Here's your... These look like your uh, engine batteries. Yes, chassis batteries. Chassis Check batteries. This, this is like a texture. This is new. Decal. It's very cool. Oh, that is cool. That is nice. It's the little touches, man. It's the little touches. Yep. Nice. All the electronics, nice and cleanly wrapped. Motor in the back. And the generator's up front. It's just like this one where it pops out on a tray. That is super cool. Hey, man, I really appreciate it. This hey, thing is an awesome looking, awesome looking motorhome. It's our pleasure. Um, Honestly, though, of everything that I viewed, I did best in class. I still have to say the, the Zephyr. You can't beat the Zephyr. You can't beat the Zephyr. Everything else is great, but the Zephyr is like next level. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But no, awesome, man. Well, I really appreciate it, brother. Yeah, man. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see some more stuff out here. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.